Hello and welcome back to Fred in the Shed. Right, today we're going to look at a 20 watt 1.2 amp solar cell. So we've picked this up on eBay, just under 30 UK pounds, advertised as a battery charger, which is what I want to use it for. Although you have to note that it doesn't come with a battery charge controller. So that's another few pounds that you have to add on at the end. Right, as I say, I've had this for um, quite a while now. I've been meaning to uh, open the box and have a look at it. I've been discussing this with Gary on Skype. Uh, Gary's very interested in lighting his garage with LED lights and using solar power. But this is mainly just a sort of small 20 watt battery charger. I'll leave a link in the description. But for those playing along at home, here's the uh, money shot of the spec. Pause the video now if you want to read this. But basically, you're looking at an open circuit, which is a maximum output of 22.5 volts at 1.2 amps, with a usable voltage of around about 18 volts. So, like I said, there's no controller with this solar panel. You just get these rather two little small crocodile clips on the end of a fairly long piece of uh, flex, I must say. The uh, the panel itself, these are extremely fragile, so I was pleased that it was packed with a box within a box, and it's arrived safe and sound with no damage at all. You can see it's made by uh, Jing Song, and you get a kind of uh, fairly basic user manual here. So if you want to use the panel for charging a battery, then you are going to need some kind of controller. Um, I picked up one on eBay, I'll show it to you here. It uh, costs just £11. This one comes with an LCD display and two USB outputs that are quite useful. You can get them cheaper if you want to lose the display. They start from around about £5 or £6 and they should be absolutely fine. So this is my radio setup in the shed. And as you can see, I've already got a used car battery sitting here waiting to, uh, to be connected up to the charger. I'm not going to get around to finishing this project at the moment. I've got far too uh, many other things on. But I will show you all this when it's uh, correctly set up. But today, we're just going to uh, get the panel out and just have a little quick look and quick test to see how much power it will actually produce in the sunshine. So here we are. Here's the panel. It's a very nice uh, sunny day today. So all I'm going to do is just uh, very sort of quickly connect up this uh, multimeter here and uh, hopefully we'll see what it produces. Now, if you remember, the peak voltage it said was uh, 22 volts with 18 volts usable. And here we go. And look at that straight away. 21.3 volts that's in uh, the direct sunshine it's around about 10 o'clock in the morning so the sun isn't at its full power but that's pretty impressive that isn't far off the mark is it so for once something says what it does on the tin that's straight out of the box and just over 21 volts so yeah pretty impressive but that's certainly enough voltage that uh, that will charge up my car battery around about one amp that will just sort of uh, trickle charge that no problem at all now, of course, I live in the UK, so it's all very well on a bright sunny day, but what about when it's cloudy, which it is a lot of the time? So what I've done, I've moved the panel now into the shade, so it's just getting ambient light, and check it out, look, 18.6 volts. So, yeah, that's fine, so it looks like even maybe on a cloudy day, there will be enough voltage for this to charge my car battery. So... There you go, just a quick look at this panel. As I say, I will show you a little bit more once I've uh, done the project that I have in mind with the radios. But just for now, just a quick look. But uh, anyway, as always, cheers. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.